County and already he hasn't even come out of high school and we're talking about him. He was denied athletic eligibility at BHS in September. Okay. He filed an appeal. That was denied as well. So what does the future hold? Well, more appeals, I'm afraid. Guess what, everybody? This case is far from over. Yet another appeal will now be forwarded to the state level where one of the problem issues will definitely be a meeting Robert Swift had with Mark Hudson, the assistant dean at Bakersfield High School. The CIF maintains that that meeting was illegal. BHS says nothing, nothing illegal occurred. You know I, know, I know he talked to Robert and his family about helping him in Prop 48. I know people said other people could have helped him, but he helped him. He's helped other kids before, Mark P. Bowden, James Katie. He's helped other people before. He didn't mention any virtues of Bex for High. So, you know, I, I don't know about all that. I just know that he helped Robert. Robert's on track to go to USC. So while Swift is not eligible to play for the drillers, he has been cleared to practice until the case is resolved. CIF officials say this next appeal could take anywhere from one to two months. That's their only a comment. Through all this, Swift is getting full support from his college choice, USC. They haven't really, you know, expressed any concern to me other than, you know, um, as far as my emotion, you know, wanting to play and how I'm doing on that. They've been really, really supportive, and uh, I'm waiting to sign them 15th. I'm still planning on that. It's a confusing, messy situation. We'll keep you updated in the coming weeks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. Oh, okay. oh, I've been no. thinking about it for the longest time. But first, we've got something, another nut to crack here before we get to the South Line. Seven foot, seven feet tall, a scholarship to USC in his back pocket. And as of tonight, Robert Swift does not have a place to play basketball. A senior at BHS by way of Garces and Highland. And there's the rub. CIF officials calling into question his final destination with the drillers. It's a sad story with no swift resolution in sight. It's easy to see Robert Swift can play basketball. Or can he? In a journey which has seen the seven foot one senior transfer from Garces to Highland and then on to BHS, a CIF panel by a vote of three to zero is backing a decision by Central Section Commissioner Jim Critchlow to rule Swift ineligible to play for the Drillers. My feelings are, are disgust, disgust with uh, some organizations. Mark Hudson, an assistant dean of BHS, is at the center of what has become a full court press by CIF officials. The perception being he was recruiting Swift to come play for the Drillers. Hudson, a former Driller coach with over 400 career wins, says he was responding to a request as a tutor and at no time mentioned BHS. I use the Highland classes as example. I never mentioned Bakersfield High School. I've sworn testimony to that. The Swifts have sworn testimony to that. And then everybody just keeps calling you a liar, yet none of them were there but you and the Swift family. You become a little disenchanted. If there was any kind of factual proof that I did anything wrong, then they should be after me, not Robert Swift. And so now the Swift family and their attorney take it to the next level, an appeal to the CIF director. Hudson, meanwhile, can't help but wonder. Is it a BHS thing? Do you think if he would have uh, moved into the district of another school, I'm not even going to name one because I don't want anybody mad at me, but do you think if he moved to another school we'd be standing here today? Or do you think Robert Swift would be practicing at that school today? All right, we should note we did attempt to speak to members of the current high school district and central section CIF Commissioner Jim Critchlow, but they did not return our phone calls. Local